along some videos that were passed along to me and I want to thank those that passed uh, some of these along some I just found incredible and I'm sorry for not you know downloading the videos and editing it uh, you know sometimes the editing just gets a little bit too time consuming so I will provide the links below in the description box I want to say that some are not seeing the links that I post and there's only one video that I recently posted and I wrote that I was going to be posting the links later and I never got back to it so I'm sorry but all the other ones I get comments from subscribers saying I, I can't see any links okay well then I'll go to the video they're there I don't know why you're not seeing it so if you don't see the links just leave a comment below um, that the links are not showing up for you and I'll provide them in the in response to your comment and I'm sure that you'll be able to see more clearly these videos that I'm going to be showing you check this out of a gush of rain coming out of the bottom of the cloud this is really cool stuff there you go we're back to uh, quarter after five watch the bottom of the cloud coming up look at that are you kidding it's is that incredible? Uh, Alpha Sky Vision caught that just a little while, that gush of rain coming out of the bottom of the cloud. Not everybody... Yeah, it was pretty incredible, wasn't it? Um... Gush of rain coming out of the bottom of the cloud. This is really cool stuff. There you go. We're back to uh, quarter after five. Watch the bottom of the cloud coming up. Look at that. Is, is that incredible? Uh, Alpha Sky... That's really cool stuff. I guess that is a meteorologist in Alabama it's really cool I would think that meteorologists would really take a look at that and go okay what the hell is going on that is very serious very serious this was posted in 2014 I do want to thank the um, subscriber for linking to this video it's a video of a deluge of rain falling out of a cloud over Montgomery, Alabama during a thunderstorm. Unbelievable. The cloud, this is really cool stuff. There you go, we're back to uh, quarter after five. Watch the bottom of the cloud coming up. Look at... Really? Dad. Is... Is that incredible? Okay. Um... This is a video, a rain bomb drops on Queensland, Australia, and I want to thank uh, Dead to This World Redeemed for posting this and telling me, listen, it, it, you know, the guy that's filming this says something like, you know, I've never seen anything like this. Amazing ball of water. seen anything quite like that before it's hard to hear him um, even when you're listening to you know the regular uh, the video that's posted on YouTube well have you ever seen anything like this I will tell you the US military is over in Australia doing an awful lot of experiments and have been for decades on uh, creating earthquakes and weather modification particularly in Western Australia. Now, where is this? Uh, Queensland? I don't believe that's Western Aus Australia, but I could be wrong. Um, what do you make of this? So he says, maybe this is just spreading out, but this is a big pile of water that just fell. All right. Well, I would think that if it's a big pile of water, you, you would not see uh, these rounded edges stay true to form, right? The water would just kind of 
it would just um, well fall down and it would gush out from the sides. So what are we looking at? Are we looking at what they were trying to create, which was a rain bomb? Again, I will say that, you know, and I'm going to bring up that picture right now. Hang on. This is a picture that I took in Kentucky. Oh, um, I don't know the year. I think it was 2013. Okay. Um, well, from a distance, one might think that this is rain falling. It was not rain falling. I believe that this was a black carbon dust cloud. And, well, it had this little thing right here that moved. And unfortunately, let me see if I can, if I have, oh, it moved all the way right into this cloud. Like, it was, I don't know, uh, sent from this cloud to that cloud. Nanotechnology, you know, as bizarre as this may sound, Clouds can talk to one another now. Yes, they can. But that's a whole other uh, video. So, you know, you see all this stuff falling out of clouds. So, I don't, I don't know if this is rain. It doesn't look like water, this blob here. But it's still quite unusual. You know, if this is cloud, why is it kind of coming down onto Earth? Ready for this? What? What, it, what am I looking at? You're looking at cloud here in, oh, I think it was Arizona. Oh, crap. The 500 foot wall. This is bigger than 500 foot. Look at that, right over there, how dark that dust is. Oh, look at that. Where? Look at you can just see it I know. That's what I was looking upstairs, dude. It's nuts. Here it comes. You start getting dusty over It already took over our neighbors over there. Where the... <laughs> look how big this thing is. You need better than that. Yeah, God bless America, baby. Oh. Crap, we're all dead. Oh my gosh. See how fast it's moving. Oh my gosh. Get it. <laughs> Close my window. Oh, it's getting windy. Here, I'll film outside. <laughs> it starts raining. Open this window. I'm going to throw my phone in. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> I changed my mind! <laughs> that oh. cloud. cloud. Now, the clouds, and we had enormous clouds in Great Barrington. Hang on. That were just rolls sitting on top of one another. And they extended, these horizontal clouds extended for I don't know how long. Um, they were quite magnificent. And then I did the research and found out that, you know, the William Gray paper et al. on blagging, uh, uh, blagging, black carbon dust, weather modification with black carbon dust, how they can heat the atmosphere. Uh, it's atmospheric heating with black carbon dust. But they also talk about these horizontal black carbon dust clouds. 
they have payloads. They can create the cloud. They can drop a payload of black carbon dust and with frequencies allow that payload to open up and you've got a whole lot of black carbon dust that is going to be spreading itself through the atmosphere. Look at this. Highly unusual clouds, to say the least. Right? I hope you say yes. Okay. And this was the um, scattering of black carbon dust to create artificial peat. Now here you have now some people are going to leave me comments saying it's coal ash, it's coal ash. Look, I'm not going to argue over whether it's black carbon dust or coal ash. I believe that they're using both but black carbon dust there are an awful lot of papers showing us that they have used black carbon dust in an awful lot of experiments and those experiments proved um, to be successful the use of black carbon dust in weather modification. But we're seeing the same black streaks, right? That we're claiming it was rain? Well, we don't know that. It was a ways away from that man and it did not look like rain was actually being um, was actually falling. So this was back in 2011. 2011 January 9 Massachusetts and the clouds were so low there were farms in this area and I believe that they were using cloud making machines and some of the clouds I would walk outside and I was like like those kids who were filming that video oh my god <laughs> I I'm not kidding you I walked out of my house and I looked to the left and I saw the most magnificent cloud that was so close but it was literally like growing up from the ground it was so massive and it was moving towards me I literally ran from it and I walk around Anderson South Carolina now and I look at these clouds they're so low and I wonder if they're going to be dropping if we're just going to be smothered in cloud. Okay. No one is stopping. No one's looking up. No one's going, oh my God, look at that. What the hell is that? That, that can't be a cloud. Uh-uh. Oh, I'm sure it's some anomaly from the, from the hurricane of the century. What do you think, guys? Huh? Massive. Okay. I mean, that is the cloud. Not a great shot. I apologize for that. But this was happening pretty much on a regular basis. These huge things. It's so That would grow bigger and bigger. Um... So, this now is what you see in Anderson, South Carolina, like four days a week. So often, these massive clouds. And it is really kind of mm, surprising, to say the least, that people are just doing what they do, and nobody seems to even acknowledge that something is very off off
with <laughs> what is happening in the sky, to say the least. Okay, so I just also wanted to show you this. I just came across it. Um, what is it? Now, they can create holograms in the sky. I think what we're looking at is an awful lot of lithium in that sky. But what the hell is that? Look. There are technologies that are available to many militaries, not just ours. China, Russia, um, where you know they can make so many different types of images that are really well. When you look at these things, you, oh whoa, whoa, well that guy filming it was pretty uh, shocked that it just. I don't know, it disappeared. Or the video disappeared. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so um, there's a lot of videos on these microbursts. They're claiming these are microbursts. Epic rain bomb microbursts. Now, uh, does it look like it is actually? And this is Western Australia, where our U.S. military has been, or certainly did, I don't know if it's current, but they were conducting experiments for many decades. I don't think that this is rain. Are they trying to make a tornado? What is it? But... You watch this and you will see the very defined line of cloud right here. You know that microwaves are in use. These are not rain bombs. The rain would just not be hanging out here. And look how defined it is now. They can create tornadoes. So I want to once again show you when I came out of now this I this is literally like two blocks away from where I lived in Great Barrington. Um, but I came out of my apartment and I, I had to stop you know, before getting into my car, because what was happening in the sky was pretty intense. Then I did get in my car, and I just turned and drove half a block, and what do I see? This. July 2011. This. And no one, everybody's walking down the street. No one was paying attention. Were they... What is this? A tornado cloud? That they, were they trying to bring a tornado into Great Barrington, Massachusetts? I don't know. All I know is it then began literally to just disappear. Um, so, yes, they can do pretty extraordinary things. This is what it ended up looking like. All right. Um, so, this is Woodward TV. And I just want you to listen to you know, a few minutes. Truth is stranger than fiction and sometimes it's scary we are living in a time when the earth 
the entire solar system it is undergoing some radical changes. Because of these changes going on underground and above our heads, we are caught in between, experiencing some of the most bizarre weather events of our time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have on our planet a bunch of madmen. And these madmen are doing things that should concern you. We have machines like HARP all over the world that blast electromagnetic energy into the upper atmosphere, heating it up. There are multiple particle accelerators around our planet producing massive amounts of unstable energy affecting both the Earth underneath them and the atmosphere above. There are chemicals being sprayed into the air daily. There is a huge number of volcanoes erupting beneath the ocean, heating it up like a stovetop burner heating up a pot of water, causing dramatic changes in our atmosphere. Look at the U.S. They are constantly manipulating the weather patterns, moving around clouds and neutralizing storms. So while one half of the country is cooling down, the other half fries. And the jet stream is being manipulated all over. Uh, whatever they want to do with it, they do with it. I will link below to all of this. But what they are doing is altering all natural processes, which is very dangerous, very dangerous indeed. And they are affecting our atmosphere to the point of collapse, collapse, atmospheric collapse. Well, that's going to be my next video. What they are doing with this uh, technology that they have by shooting up, you know, what, billions of watts of electromagnetic energy up into the ionosphere, heating it up and letting it, uh, well, they're actually producing holes in the ionosphere that apparently repair themselves very quickly. Yeah, you know, these people are really just what Woodward TV said. They are psychopaths squared. <laughs> I, I, they're beyond psychopaths. So, you know, um, when you see this, you know something's very wrong. But what really is very, very wrong is that there are far more people who refuse to see it claim they don't see it, or if they do see it, they don't think anything is really happening. Or, I don't know, they'll, ex they'll just assume that it's climate change or global warming. That is what, that kind of mentality or brain that works like that, that's where our real danger lies. Because the only possible way to get any, uh, to even have a chance of getting uh, somewhere to stop the alteration of Earth's natural processes, we need, we need people to give up their willful ignorance and begin to have conversations with us. We need people to give up their denial, their willful ignorance, and begin to do research to find out that everything that we have been saying throughout the years and years and years is true. And it may be too late. It may very well be too late, guys because of the 
alterations that they have already been, you know, able to um, to produce. It's so now beyond what we could ever even imagine. How do you reverse all of this? I think the way you reverse all of this is to do it very slowly. It's kind of like weaning yourself off medication. It would be, I think, especially with the, the dumping of all of these toxic chemicals and heavy metals, I think that they would have to begin to wean off. They wouldn't be able to just stop abruptly because this is just what I think. I think that the natural processes would not come right smack into place in its absence, in the absence of the artificial processes that have been going on for such a long time. The damage has been really profound. So, and, and you know, look, that that what I just said, you know, that's my theory. It's it's not like I've you know really thought long and hard about it and studied it and whatever. But I'm 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 just speaking my mind. These crazy, crazy, unbelievably, stunningly, uh, it, our military, you know, that they have been look. They blew up the Van Allen belts and. A few months after they discovered them in 1958, I think they discovered them in, in January 1958, and they were blown up with these nuclear blasts in like September 1958, just to see what would happen. Are you kidding? I mean, we have boys in uniform, and they're called generals. But all we did was move the boy from their parents' garage where they were conducting experiments and blew up the garage, and we moved them to the Pentagon to sit in offices. They look older, but they're still boys doing their experiments. Now the garage is Mother Earth. Ah, all right, all links are below atmospheric collapse and our new clouds that's right we have new clouds oh they've just been discovered that's the next video